In this video, you learn how HTTP single sign-on works with Pass for OpenEdge. Pass for OpenEdge embraces the principle that every web page application must work in the same authentication and authorization process. This means that the end user logs in only once to communicate with all modules of an application. This is easy with an ABL client. When a user logs in, ABL creates a client principal token that can flow among all application modules. Each module can validate the client principal token, which eliminates the need for end users to re-enter their credentials. But because HTTP doesn't provide a standard way to pass client principal tokens, single sign-on is difficult to achieve. In addition, JavaScript clients don't know how to read or pass those tokens. What if we wanted to achieve single sign-on in a different way? Imagine that you have an application with modules distributed across three different Pass for Open Edge instances. Let's say a user logs in to a Pass for Open Edge instance, which returns a sealed client principal token. Then, to communicate with a module in a different instance, Pass for Open Edge sends the client principal token to the module, which then validates the token and executes the appropriate service in the module. This is what single sign-on is, and how Pass for Open Edge uses HTTP protocols for single sign-on. There are three parts to implementing HTTP single sign-on in Pass for Open Edge. The first is the token producer. When a client is authenticated in Pass for Open Edge, the token producer creates a client principal token and returns it to the client. Because the token is base64 encoded, the client can store it as a string for later use. The second is the token consumer. A token consumer validates a client principal token, enabling a client to access an application module. The third is the refresh operation. Because client principal tokens are shared in a browser and they are short-lived for security, Pass for Open Edge allows you to request a new token anytime. Let's take a deeper look at the token producer. Pass for Open Edge contains a service called OESSO Token Manager. When enabled, this service creates an encrypted client principal token after a client user is successfully authenticated by the token producer. To perform an HTTP single sign-on operation, your Pass for Open Edge instance must use the form authentication model. This is required for maintaining session context. The form authentication model provides user session support when the client uses application-defined URL resources for login operations. The client supplies the user credentials in a post request and receives session information in the header of the post response. Let's take a look at the HTTP post operation for a client principal token. In the post operation, you use the accept request header field to specify a JSON request. Then you enter your credentials. The call returns a JSON object. This JSON object has three specific properties. The access token, this property holds the client principal token. The refresh token, when you use this property to request a new token, you specify the token type as OECP and the expires in property, which specifies the token's lifetime. Now let's take a look at the token consumer. A token consumer accepts a client principal token, decrypts it, and uses it to validate the user. Pass for Open Edge includes a service called OESSO filter. If you enable this service, the token consumer validates the token in the incoming HTTP request. Here's an example of an HTTP client principal token request to a token consumer. This example uses list payment service data. The authorization header should have the token type as OECP. The remaining content of the request consists of an encrypted client principal token. As mentioned earlier, the token refresh is always recommended. You can use this service anytime you want to refresh a token. To refresh a token, you perform a POST operation with the following parameters. OP equals refresh, acceptors application slash JSON, and the payload to send. This concludes the video that introduces HTTP single sign-on support for Pass for OpenEdge. For more information, see the Progress Information Hub.